Hi, it's Tim from oraclebase.com. In this video, we'll demonstrate blockchain tables introduced in Oracle Database 21C. A blockchain table is a tamper proof insert only table with an associated table level and row level retention period. This feature has been backported to 19.10 but requires an additional patch. The table creation looks similar to a regular table. In addition to adding the blockchain keyword to the create table command, there are three blockchain clauses. The drop table clause determines how long the table is protected from being dropped. It only affects the drop table command. The table will still be removed if a drop user cascade command is issued to remove the whole schema. No drop on its own means the table can never be dropped. No drop until number days idle means the table can't be dropped until no rows have been inserted for that many days. For test purposes, we'll set this to zero days idle. The row retention clause determines how long each row will be protected from deletion. No delete on its own means the rows are kept forever. No delete until number days after insert protects the rows for the specified number of days. The minimum is 16 days. The hash and data format clause is fixed in the current release. We check the user tab calls view to show column details. We can see the four columns we asked for and 10 invisible columns for the management of the blockchain table. The user blockchain tables view displays information about the table. We can see the row retention and table inactivity retention settings. I'm not going to discuss altering the drop table clause because it's quite buggy in this release. Instead, we'll look at altering the row retention clause. We can increase the row retention value using the alter table command. Here we've changed it from 16 to 32. We can't reduce the retention period though. When we try to reduce it back to 16, we get an error. This is a tamper proof insert only table, so not surprisingly, we can insert data into it. If we try to amend the data in the table, we get an error. Here we attempt to update the data and we get an operation not allowed on blockchain table error. We attempt to delete some data and we get the same error. Not surprisingly, we're also prevented from using the truncate table command. We can increase the size of a column, but we're not allowed to drop or add columns. Here we try to add a new column and we see the operation is not allowed. We try to drop a column and we get the same error. The DBMS blockchain table package is used for maintenance of blockchain tables. The delete expired rows procedure will probably be of most use. It removes any rows that are beyond the retention period. They can't be removed using a normal delete statement. We tell it the schema name and table name and it returns the number of rows deleted. We output the value and can see in this case no rows were deleted. There is more information about the DBMS blockchain table package in the linked article. Blockchain tables are quite a niche feature, but if you want a tamper proof insert only table, you might want to consider them. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.